What have you two done in there that's caused that to happen? Ah, oh, so this is what happens if you have sex before marriage. Oh my god, there's quite a lot of them. They've got drones and people with insane looking armor. What the hell is that you've got equipped? Mech assault rifle. This weapon is specifically designed for automatroid use. Normal humans may not be able to use the external assistance, which I assume is this exoskeleton looking thing. Hello, nice to see you all. Oh dear. Um, are they... Oh my god, look at the range on that. I don't think our wizards will even be able to get close enough to do damage at that range. I mean this with, with, with the utmost respect. Ramunculus, please fuck off. But I need you to go and hide as well. Goosen's got a hammer. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Lonely can hit hard. At least you've got some weapons with some decent range there. We don't really have a very heavy wizard offensive going on here. But we'll, um, we'll see what we can do. I could send Earl the Necromancer who has Steel Vitality and Word of Fear. Which at least would be useful. But he is 10 years old. And probably isn't that very good at taking bullets. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Um, right. Who's laughing at my giant wall now, you big bitches? Let's get the dragons on the other end of the wall. wonder if they'll fight one another. They should fight one another because they're enemies. If we back off, they're beginning their assault. Oh, God. And we're going to have to fight both. Okay. Here we go, then. Anita, let's send them some friends to go and look at. You lot, um... I don't really want them wasting too much magic on these on these kingdom. On on the kingdom, because they've just got what have they got? Like maces? Don't care about that. Get them. Just use your regular standard shots. Let's not waste ice blast. What have you got? Yeah, don't waste your shields or anything. You just stand there and wait. Dragons are on it. Watch out, dragons. Please don't burn down the dragon church. It's all under control. What the hell is that? It is a drone carrying flash grenades. Oh my god, hold on. This isn't the desperate kingdom. What the hell is even that? These aren't the the, this isn't the Desperate Kingdom. This is more of the... Oh my god, we're like totally surrounded. Oh good, oh good. Lonely, I hope you're happy. Lonely is absolutely getting the blame for this. <laughs> right, you come up here. You stand there, because you're just doing like skip shields and stuff. Go on, Eilings. Savage them. Kill them dead, Eilings. I don't know if the Eilings are going to be much help, I won't lie. Um, well, at least they're getting close. You know what, while they're distracted, maybe a certain... Wildfire mage could drop some meteorites on their head. That could help. Oh god, they've stunned all the dragons. I, f I can't keep an eye on both. I feel like using dragons to fight the anti-dragon forces is probably a poor play. But we'll see how this goes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stadzer. Oh god, I, I need them. I need them a little bit closer. Here we go. Let's fire it like, oh my poor wall. Okay, you know what, just, just send it. Send it wildfire. Go, 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 go. Nice, nice. Crush. Get crushed. Nice. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We've certainly split them up. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take that. Uh, let's let's go for uh, Autocast Brain Exploder. Sure, if you've got the heat, why not? Why not? And let's fire those larger slugs that I presume will be slightly more damaged than... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Can we blow, 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 blow up Richie's brain? Blow up Red Run's brain? Here we go. Shit, they've interrupted it. Oh, God. I, I think the dragons will be fine. Don't worry about the dragons. You can throw up a skip shield. It covers that entire area? Oh, no, I was going to say, that doesn't make any damn sense. Throw that up there. Boom. Oh, it's big brain time. Now we blow up some brains. Or small brain time. Uh, on, on brain time. Get him. Get him. How long is this skip shield going to last? That's the real question. Oh, one of the knights got back up. Boom, there's one down. Great work. Uh, let's go grenade on you. We could even do an explosion. She just hit herself with a grenade. It bounced off the shield. <laughs> He basically just threw that grenade at the equivalent of a window. <laughs> Amazing. Um, try an explosion. See if we can at least take them out of the fight with some fire. Boom. It didn't work. It wasn't enough. And her, her arcane load's a bit too high. Come back. Come back. Let's turn off the auto fire a second. Give a, give a chance just to chill out. Wildfire's holding the line. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. How are the dragons doing? They're just getting absolutely lit up. But they are using their attacks. Let's move them into melee. Because these guys definitely have an advantage. Look at how much damage they're doing to dragons with those guns. Ah, I see why you're the anti-dragon forces, eh? Get down there. Rip them to shreds. Rip them to sheds. Yeah, raw, 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 raw. Go, 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 go. Okay, and then you fly there. Amazing. Get them in melee. Rip them to bits. Get them in melee. Rip them to bits. Go, draft up. Fight. There. Nice work. You turn around. Hit that one for me. Beautiful. Oh, look at it going forward, just descending on them. You'd love to see it. Wildfire, how are you holding up? She's taking some damage, but she's fine. Although I think that was her own grenade, to be to be completely honest. Um, I'm going to do another brain exploder. It's probably going to push her to a limit. How are we looking on another shield, please? Just do it. 
Oh god, these wizards. Oh, the heat. Oh, the heat. Oh, the heat. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Come forward. This is a nice combo. Giving her cover and time to focus so she can go out there and just blow up some brains is amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stand your ground. Get him. Nice. One more down. They are kidnapping the soldiers. I presume to conscript them. Let's bring you lot down here. How are you doing in there? Did you have a nice day? Oh, I think the dragons have got it covered. I think we're all good. To be fair, though, these people are putting up a hell of a fight, aren't they? Ooh. I want anybody even remotely good at medical. So Rampunculus and Bert down there helping the dragons. The dragons took a massive hit for the colony there. Bear in mind, those dragons have fought and killed Galatross like they're nothing. So to see these people go up against them like that is kind of insane. But that's why they're here, right? Lonely. Light them up. We've got to get a little closer. We've got to get a little get, get closer. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go. That could, be, that could be very bad. That could be bad. Go. Fire. Fire. Nice. What the hell's happening? They're not taking damage from it? What the hell? Uh, okay. We're going to need an urgent brain exploder, I think, here. Ah, uh, please. Please. Okay. F fuck your arcane load. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Do it for the colony. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. What the fuck? What have you got? Like, have you got, like, total psychic sensitivity loss or something? What the hell is going on there? Sense, uh, what is it called? Oh, God, ma magic, magic, something, something. 100%, you're fine. How did that not hit? I'm so pissed. Were well, you good? I almost don't want to double check. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! Frost Ray normally gets them properly stunned because it does repeated hits. Why can't you explode her brain? What's going on with this person? Are they psychically? What the hell's happening? It's a bug. It's a bug. It's got to be a bug. Starry. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but this isn't right. G get in there with the hammer. Oh my god. Just please, just kill them somehow. Thank you. Jesus Christ. That's bullshit. I'm not sure what happened there, but I feel like it's bullshit. But we're just going to accept it. Roar is fine, so Roar can go. How are you looking? You're fine, so you can go. So let's just focus on, on these two that took most of the damage. Poor sweet Shenron. Oh, all that time. And speaking of all that time, I spent all that time de-aging Lonely and Daylor so that they could have some kids. Second they have a kid, a finger curls on the monkey's paw. Are any of these people worth grabbing? Do I even want to grab people from our mortal enemy? They're not even that good. Just, just forget it. Let them grieve. Starry, you're okay, right? You're not okay. It's okay. Dr. Wildfire's on it. Dr. Wildfire is not on it. <laughs> Wildfire, you're like our best medic. Please tend this bleeding person. <laughs> Why did Wildfire not tend Starry? What are you doing? Could you just, like, use Word of Healing on yourself? That would probably... You're a paladin! Heal yourself! Oh, my God. What are you doing? She's getting out of bed to fight the fucking fire! Lie down! Good God! What is wrong with you people? Just lie down! Thank you. There. You're fine. Now you can do what you like. How are the dragons doing? 88 condition needs tending. Shit. Wow. Okay, let's go um, set up some animal... Medical spots then. Bear in mind the dragons have regeneration. So unless they're killed actually in combat, they should be fine as long as they're not going to bleed out urgently. I mean, that was good, but it's really opened my eyes to what we need here, which is some wizardy firepower. 300 gold per weapon makes it quite impossible right now to craft everybody magical weapons. So we might just have to compromise and go for uh, bow and arrow, crossbow. Maybe even using their own weapons against them because this we can't we can't do this. Wildfire gets special dispensation, non-stop meditation for the rest of her life now. She's the colony defender, she's the colony guardian, she's been the one dealing with a lot of these forces. If it wasn't for her, we would have we would have died ten times over. Sylvia Blight, also same story, I think. Let's make sure you're getting ample meditation here so that you can tap into that telekinetic stuff a bit more. Anita, I love some of her abilities, but she just doesn't have the mana for it. So let's also give her a couple of extra hours. Daylor is our legate, so gives us access to combat ability. Obviously, Starry is amazing, so I think I'm also going to put you on a bit more med- Oh, you're, you're non-stop. Okay, that makes sense. Korgra, congratulations, my friend. You're promoted to full-on meditation schedule as well. Love the symmetry. Wow. How does a wizard colony that needs a tremendous amount of gold to build their weapons build weapons when they haven't gotten access to a tremendous amount of gold? Bear in mind, the mines can't dig that up. I could uh, enable it in the mines. That feels a bit weird. Or do we tap into our incredible Herblore department, Bert and Sylvia? We've got a lot of good Herblore characters. Wildfire herself can definitely step up, and we can train a few people as well. Bertisha can follow in her parents' footsteps and help out with the growing. Or do we grow magical enchanted trees capable of producing 
small but consistent amounts of resources. So I've made my own version of the resource tree mod totally from scratch. It's very different to the original one. The original one I think is intended for base game rim mod. You've got component trees and beer trees and all sorts of standard reward stuff in there. Mine is meant for a fantasy situation. It has a lot of conditional trees too. If you're playing with Medieval Overhaul, you get an Amber tree. If you're playing with Vanilla Side Casting Expand, you get an Arcanium tree or Eltex tree. And I think that's what we'll be going for this time. Mine is also quite harsh compared to the original resource tree mod that I think was a bit too generous. I think you ended up getting a lot of resources with that, whereas mine is a bit more... I don't want to say balanced, because, you know, that's just my interpretation of what the balance should be, but, um... Yeah, ha harsher. Harsher. You've got to earn your infinite resources, in my mind. You've also got to bear in mind we do have the ability to, to grow plants faster. Now, Rambunculus' ability does not instantly just grow a patch of plants to full, especially trees, which have a very, very long grow time. At least my trees do. Let's go ahead and crank up the research priorities, then. If there's nothing to build, Rambunculus, I want you at that research desk nonstop. Oh, but at least this time we can bury her in the anima tree. Return to from whence you came. We come from the earth as magic beings, and we shall return to the earth as magic beings. Look at Rambunculus. <laughs> the speech is over, and the burial is happening. Lonely is being consumed by the great anima tree. Goodbye, Lonely. It's an honorable... It's been cancelled. It's been cancelled because Wildfire is going to put her in the freezer. She's going to put her in the freezer. Listen to me. You're going to bury this person. What are they doing? What are you doing? Just bury her! Only has been done dirty today by this colony. For fuck's sake, just bury her. What are you doing? Oh my god, the dragon's eating her body. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. It's very disrespectful at a funeral to eat, uh, eat, eat the deceased. Okay. The burial is happening. Rambunculus is returning her to the earth. From when she came, we as magical beings shall always return to the ground which birthed us. And finally, goodbye lonely. Third time's the charm. Amazing. The great return was great. The tree spirit appears please and grass has grown. I'm a little bit concerned about eating that anima fruit that crops up from a tree that we're burying people. My favorite part of the funeral is where somebody is almost eaten. That's always good. But let's harvest this anima fruit. This is a single-use, one-off fruit that will temporarily... I mean, all fruit is single-use. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> and with the one I was looking for was temporary. It's a temporary fruit. Where did you put it? Anima fruit. Did you just eat it? No, but... Where did the fruit go? I'm... 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 Like, what's happening today? What's happening? Am I going mad? Are you telling me Daylor and Lonely committing sins in their bedroom has, has led to this insanity? Bertha. One leaves and another joins. It's Bertha Clements. Well, I, I, yeah, I really wanted to look over here. Wait, what's that fire? Oh, it's just a fire. Bertha Clemens, the druid. Scarless is obviously an awesome mutation to have. Downside to the druids are they are very slow meditators. The slower you meditate, of course, the lower your experience gain is. But they are natural meditators, which means they can connect with the anima tree. Something I don't think anyone else in the colony can do right now. So if we can spread that down the colony, that would be awesome. 23. You are 23. Deadlift is 28 and is extremely magically sensitive and nature attuned. If we could get your kids in 8 Magic Natural Meditator and keep that extremely magically sensitive gene, bear in mind they've got double chance of inheriting that because both parents have it. That would be insane. You'd have a bunch of extremely magically sensitive children born who could meditate immediately. The plan today was going to be planning out the rest of the colony, right? So Earl's genes are pretty great. If we can maybe marry Earl to Batisha, get the extreme meditation and the dispersal along with the magic, increased magic sensitivity and the innate magic, you've got an incredible, very, very powerful mage off the get-go. And Bunkillus already had a chat with Melton. He's like, Melton, if you could uh, blast my son with word of love, that would be very helpful. Should we just see if they can... Ah, you tell it. Well, there is a chance, though. You're telling me there is a chance. 15% chance of them hooking up. Rejected. Damn. It was worth a go, though. Oh, Goosen's going around. No, don't repair her stuff. She's going to change to a wizard outfit. Let's rearrange our to-do list a little bit. So, arcane weaponry, definitely at the top. Arcane defenses. We can build turrets. There's no excuse for not having done that. Uh, except for me forgetting that they even exist in the first place. Where is security? Where is she? What the hell? 
Where is security? There you are. <laughs> is there any way to put a hole in the wall? Castle wall embrasures. Oh, there actually are. Oh, shit. Okay, um, well, look, let's throw some pylons in amongst the wall, then. That seems like a sensible play. They have decent range. Oh, they bloody do. Wow. Oh, shit. Well, that solves our main problem, which was having range issues. That one is enormous. Can we build them out of dragon scale so they're a bit more durable? Is that possible? Uh, oh, that's fun. I like that. Dragon scale pylons. Enchanted to defend us. Going to trim out the walls a little bit as well, so they've got better... Better coverage. We probably want to swap these out for embrasures. And we probably want to swap those and those. Just so we can really see what we're up against. New lovers. Corgra and Wildfire. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it makes no difference, of course. Because they're not they are not going to share a bed. They can still hook up randomly. Hasn't caused us any problems yet. And it's such a low chance to happen. I don't think we need to worry about that muddying up the family trees at all. Look at how fast Bert learns. Compared to Batisha. Look at him go. I think Bert might have the ability to be the main star of the show. Say Wildfire or, dare I say it, Rambunculus die one day and we're looking for another main character. Like, you know, like the real, the real star of the show, the mayor of the city, so to speak. It could be Earl Diddles. Because Earl Diddles is getting some absolutely insane skills here. Oh, is it his bloody psychic sight? I bet it is. He was sat at a desk reading all day. But in mind, he inherited psychic sight from his mother, which was uh, Anita, the warlock. That means that the, when it, the, the higher his psychic powers, the more sight bonus he gets. The fact that he was born with it, and the fact that he was also born with a psi level, means that he's immediately got a sight bonus off the bat. This kid could be insane. This kid could be insane. I'm going to try and boom all of his skills because he's he's got the potential. I just clicked that off without even thinking. <laughs> Enchanted material trees. There it is, my friends. Plant it here in the heart of the base. Maybe maybe like up around here might make more sense. If we start growing arcanium trees and we lose a whole crop, it's going to make me cry. What idiot? Look at that. You've gone outside the lines there. What idiot drew that? Ah, uh, it was me. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Uh, what do we actually want? Uh, like, like, like gold, obviously. Arcanium. Let me just go arcanium and gold to kick things off here. Gold, arcanium. Let's put more arcanium there. And then gold. Bear in mind, we're not going to be able to plant much. They follow regular tree law. So you can't have them directly next to one another. They'll all be staggered across. It's not my dragon. Whose dragon is this? Sartharion. It's a new dragon. Oh, hello. Um... Listen, last time I tried to tame a dragon, it went horribly awry. <laughs> okay, go on then. It's a true dragon, so they're the best dragon. They're the venerated animal. So I feel like we've got to, got to give it a go here. Galza is hunting... Galza? <gasps> Maybe worry about your own dragons first. Oh, but, 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 come on. Galza. Galza, come on, we're all friends. Okay, there's Galza back. Let's go get that true dragon. Okay, he's got enough to cast it again. No, he hasn't. Oh, he hasn't, and I've just fucked up, chef. Wildfire. If I kill a venerated animal, they are going to be devastated. It's just pissed off and hanging out by the... Whoa! Oh, Anita! Oh, shit! Okay, just outrun the dragon. Melton, 360, walk away, please. Good, good, good. There you go. You threw a gate. You threw a gate. It can't get you there. Okay. Just going to micromanage a few people and make sure nobody's getting eaten. Melton! Melton! Why is Melton so slow? What's happened? You're missing a leg. Honestly, that's very understandable. I, I, I get why you're not able to run away quite so fast from this dragon. Melton furiously hopping away from an enormous true dragon. Oh, God. Okay, Daddy Diddles, turn around. Melton's fine. It's lighting fire to while she's in a swamp. Melton's not fine. She's just been lit fire to while she's in the mud. Daddy, run. Okay, Bert, where are you? Oh, God. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. Run. I'm not. I refuse to let this happen again. I fucking refuse. It's not happening. Wildfire, get over there. Go save Melson, please. Bert, where are you, you slow old bitch? Go. Word of animals. Go. Sit, kid. It didn't fucking work. It didn't work again. This thing is so fast. If we lose Bert, that's it. The whole colony is going to go up in flames. Come on. It's just not fucking working. I don't think that power works. I'd like a refund. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wildfire, you just got to blow it up. You just got to blow it up. Cut your losses. Okay, we've trapped the dragon in the kitchen. There's not a door there. Why is there not a door there? Who keeps taking all these damn doors off? Okay. <laughs> Bird's trapped in the freezer as an enormous dragon is trying to get to him. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. The Battle of the True Dragons. I beg that you do not stay away. I beg that you do not burn this building down. Boris, fuck off. 
Boris, fuck off. Oh, Boris Gelzer, get in here. Help me out. How is this happening all the fucking time? Well, this is karma. You know how many tame attempts we got away with that first, the first couple of times we tried it? Now we're getting, we're getting payback 10 times over. Wildfire, run. Blow up its brain, wildfire. If it wasn't for wildfire, this colony would be... Oh, God, she killed it. Oh, fuck. She's become too powerful. That's where her psychic sensitivity has increased. Actually, she's okay with it because it was rampaging and ripped off two people's legs. That's very understandable, actually. Um, can someone please go in and save? So, yeah, you're, you're, you're a medical character. What have I done to deserve this, huh? What have I done to deserve such hate? There is no reason with the paladin why anybody should be missing anything ever. So you, my friend, are going to regrow limbs on just about half the colony. Did it? It did work on Rambunculus. You remember how I said yeah, during yesterday's episode, we'll see if it removes his scars and then I'll double check at the end and then I never did. It did work. Well, uh, let's just get, uh, let's get, let's get a line going here. And uh, it's weird for Wildfire to be in the middle of the line. <laughs> let's get everybody patched up. Okay, Melton, we might need the doctor to go to go to Melton instead. Um, oh, and you need some more Psy focus. Sorry, Wildfire, I got you out of bed there for nothing. Starry is, is legitimately our secret weapon. What does this do? Invisibility is cool. Guardian Skip Barrier. Generates a spherical bubble that disintegrates all incoming and outgoing ground level projectiles to base atoms. It can last as long as they can manage the accumulating arcane load. Oh, God. So they just sit there and they hold it. Unlike the other skip barrier that only lasts a little while. Or sorry, the overshield or whatever. But Tisha, what have you got? Uh, yes, definitely the next level of Herblord. Definitely the next level of, of, of cooking. Honestly, we could do with a dedicated medical character. Maybe you go animal handling. Because then you're just inheriting everything your parents had. That's kind of fun. Careful shooter, pretty brawler, chemical interest, slothful, iron willed. E um... Sure, let's go with that. All, the, all these kids have been through some shit. She's watched her dad be ripped apart by dragons like four times now. And once by a genie. And that's got to that's gotta have some impact on your willpower, I would think. Shambas Sheckley as well. Oh, right, because we had all those kids born at the same time. Shambas' education clearly didn't go so well. Um, melee healing persuasion. Let's go healing then. And let's go... Oh, minimal meditation. It does increase mental break threshold by 10% too. That's cool. Elton, I'm feeling generous. You can have a leg because hopping away from that true dragon was a sad thing to see. Really quite distressing. Oh, watch my plants. Oh, <gasps> gold. Oh, well, never mind. You can do that all you like, my friend. Hang on. When wildfire summons meteors, are they... Are they random stuff? Ancient metal, rose quartz, mudstone? Starry is in labor. These are the two not super interesting characters, though. Starry and Boris were the ones that just turned up randomly. One's got Scarlet, one's got Mystic Warrior. They either died of the anti-mage forces. Hello. Commander Momonsense died, and it's now Leslie Forbes. Be careful. I heard she's got... A hundred... Allies. <laughs> <laughs> that was uniquely shit. Well done. Might edit that out so no one, no one, no one sees my shame. This could be some wizard magic. Is there a way to perpetually keep people in childbirth? Because my god, that does wonders for your, for your magic powers, eh? And why do you got to do that noise? <laughs> why have you got to do that? Starry has become a hard worker. We got very neurotic. Sanguine. I want her just sitting around meditating. So I'm gonna go with sanguine, even though it's arguably the worst out of those traits. Well, maybe other than night owl. There you go. Baby Lopez. Hello. And you have Mystic Warrior, and that's it. You're going right in the meat grinder, my friend. Uh, by which I mean our other kind settlement. It's a lovely it's a lovely farm. It is a lovely farm. And Earl became an adult. Here's what I realized about Bloody Earl as well. He's psychically uh, hypersensitive. This kid's got like 270% psychic sensitivity just just normally. This is insane. Oh my god. Great memory as well. This this is insane. I think out of all of these, a necromancer that's also capable of healing is the most uh, interesting. Let's go with... I'm, I'm gonna go industrious. Because then you can just sit there and learn and learn and learn. Oh, great memory. Ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, great memory. Great memory is good. Never sleeps, 300% psychic sensitivity, and never forgets anything. Oh, Earl. This could be your show, Earl Diddles. Look at him go, level 6 crafting. Go, Earl. Go. We've already demonstrated we need these weapons bloody fast. I'm not going to do this every time because it might be horribly overpowered because this time bubble power is horribly overpowered. I'm thinking we set up like a quarantine. We like piss everybody off. Like get out. Let's put all these people over here. I could be using the time bubble so much more efficiently, right? I could use it on the animals to age them up to then uh, breed them and get ones with better stats and then rinse and repeat over and over and over and over and over. 
But, come on, everybody, that's it. Go fast. Go. Who's Jerk? Jerk became an... Oh, it's Spartak. Yeah, this is uh, just a demonstration that clearly we're doing well with the education. Because this kid who's not being educated came out shit. He's the one in the, he's the, one in the farm. We don't really care about that. Uh, right, okay. Let's try it there, because then we're getting the best coverage. That alpaca might turn to dust. I won't be too upset if we lose the alpaca breeding project. I won't lie. Does this work? Am I, am I golden trees growing? Ready to harvest? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh. <gasps> okay. It seems as if it might have worked. Did bloody work. I don't know what's going on there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not my fault anyway, so I don't give a shit. But, my friend, I think it's time. Hit harvest, and then... No? We could just go to say chop wood. Who made this fucking mod? What a loser. You gotta do something like that. There you go. And then you chop the wood, and then, presuming I haven't messed something up, you're gonna come down here, but, uh, but, did I say sleep, you big bitch? Get down here. And then you chop down that, and then we get some LTEX. Ready? Oh, not much. And for the gold, please. Boom. 13 gold from that tree that we artificially inflated. Starry pregnant again? Starry, it's been five minutes since you've given birth. I mean, okay. Fair enough. You're trying to, trying to get that, maybe you're trying to get that uh, rare mutation going here. Because they know, look, Rambunculus has made his decision on sweet baby Lopez. Baby Lopez is done for. In fact, what might be sensible here, time bubble on baby Lopez, grow baby Lopez, kick baby Lopez out. I'm going to carry this child to the middle of the field and um, force it to grow. <laughs> Obviously, we would never, ever want to do this with the children that we want because they need to go through a proper education. Otherwise, they're going to be beyond useless. But when the child is born useless, we're going to blast it. We're going to get it blasted. And not blasted in the catharsis sense of when I blasted that child with a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um. I may have... Oh, there you go. 30 years old, just like that. Fucking hell, that must be terribly confusing. This is a new level of criminal activity. I'm an awful person. What do the parents think? Are they going to be upset or are they committed? I mean, given that they're part of the ideology... Certainty 100%. They must be committed to the wizard goal. This is beyond fuck. This might be one of the most fucked up things I've ever done, and I don't even want to try and revel in it. It's just existentially dreadful and makes me feel very, very unwell. Before I forget, because I very much might do that. Come over here. Where are you? Where's, where's Deadlift? Deadlift, hurry up. Let's get a word of love going on between these two. They've got very, very high magical aptitude. Well, it might do something for them. If we do that, and then low opinion... Low opinion, for fuck's sake. I've breached the laws of space and time to do this. But it's a necessary evil. Because now hopefully I can make my people some bloody decent weapons. So then, let's make some weapons. I'm more than happy to give the enchant bows to anybody good at shooting. That seems to make sense. It's still magic after all. I think Korgra gets the... That's our, that's our barbarian. Gets a ruby halberd. I would like to make one of each staff. And then the ones that we don't have. We can just distribute those out to people. Warhammer. We've already got a, a, a warhammer though, haven't we? There's also an amber staff, so let's make one of those. Oh, and then of course we've got the grimoires as well. These all seem like suitably magic weapons. Okay, so with wildfire, before I start a crafting here, we've got the choice of eye blast or fire tornado. Eye blast leads to fire beam. Now, I've used fire tornado once before, and uh, as I recall, really didn't end well. So we're going to go eye blast, and then we'll go up to fire beam, because that's actually concentrated. So for sieges, for people bunching together, that seems really good. And there we go. Perfect. And that's... Her fully upgraded. So now we're just going to say, hey, back to a regular schedule, please, Wildfire. How's Korgra looking? 56. Hasn't had a kid yet, so we're probably going to re reverse time on you. Again, that's what we're allowed to do. That's, that's all we're allowed to do, though. Barbarian. Oh, Barbarian and Paladin could be a cool combo. So you got eight points to spend. Arcane Speed. Awesome. Runs faster. Power Leap. Jumps. I think you can understand that. Blade Focus is double melee speed. Ranger focus we definitely don't want. Adrenaline rush blocks all pain, augments sight, hearing, and movement. Not necessarily as good, because they might just fight until they die. What else you got here? Controlled frenzy. Whoa. Doubles their damage output. Each kill reduces their arcane load by 10 and resets the duration of the frenzy. That's awesome. Guided arrow. Probably not so necessary. Summon people over. Mass beckon. And that one is chain assassinate. Boom. Korgra, my friend, you are going to be a lethal weapon. Then we'll make sure you're upgraded. Give him that ruby halberd. That's going to be massively improved our defenses. Ancient smithing. Oh, I presume that's already done because we had a bunch of recent... Oh, yeah, queued up. There you go. Ancient smithing. Give me that. That might have some magical stuff. Plate armor. There's, look, clearly prestige plate armor there that we can... I, I assume would give some sort of psychic bonus. Oh, that's probably that done as well. Amazing. Any sort of more powerful armor. Adorned armor? 
I can I assume we can do something with that. And then I guess we'll probably go back into relic crafting. Oh, it's a game changer, isn't it? Oh, look at that thing. You've named the Ruby Halberd Ice, which is a little, a little odd given that I think they do fire damage. Yeah, Minor Blaze. Corgra, my friend, get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. We're not letting what happened earlier today happen again. Look at him go. Okay, I will admit the pink robe, not massively intimidating. <laughs> then we have an emerald staff and an amber staff. I think, um, well, look, you've already got that tome, which basically counts as a weapon. Bert's got that horrible fucking thing that blows everything up, so I guess I could swap Bert out. Because genuinely, that staff has done more damage to us than enemies, and I, I sincerely do believe that. That's not a meme. That's not a bit. Oh, gives him a shield, too, so I'm a big fan of that. And then amber staff. Amber comes from trees. And Sylvia, I was about to say, so does Sylvia until I realized what I said. <laughs> Sylvia is, uh, is, is uh, an expert farmer. I don't think she's quite that into her job, though. That would be very questionable. Bang, there you go. That's what we like to see. And then see, like, the book. We should really be giving that to, like, the paladin. Display shelf. Artful display. Yes, please. Because I'm going to be putting on display that staff because it is horribly, horribly dangerous. Oh, my God. Look at how gray Bert's gone. He's 45, and he's he's starting to really, really go gray there. I think the same is true of Wildfire. I feel like her hair is a lot less saturated now. My colony is becoming full of oldies. Becoming full of old people. Hello, what have you got for sale? Please have some good stuff. Arcane Goods Merchant. Mel, uh, Goosen, Melton, uh, whatever. Ramban kills. I don't give a shit. Who no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't arrest. Don't arrest. My God. That was almost a diplomatic incident. Over linen. <laughs> okay, well, fuck off then. Listen, I've already got an insane amount of stuff to go through for this episode. Like a ridiculous amount of footage. So if this is late, you know why. I think I'm happy leaving it here anyway. Because if I draft everybody up, the weapon standards, like like Rambunculus Wildfire, Goose and Melton, Burt, Sylvia now, Korgra, Starry, arguably, all have very, very good magical weapons. We've only got to craft like... Six more? Like half a dozen more weapons. And we are in a vi really, really good situation defensively. This is a nice backup. No more friendly fire. Ramblinkless weapon, sure. But it's the Archmage staff. And we've got our very, very fancy pylons. We must construct additional pylons, though. Uh, preferably at the top here, I think. And sorry, the real star of the show. Earl. Earl, who I'm going to be keeping a very, very close eye on. This combination of great memory and never sleep and fast learning and everything else. This kid is... Insane. Look, he's mentoring the other two. They're watching him. They're watching him learn, and they're learning from it. It's learning on top of learning. Over the next day or so, I'm going to be working on, and then I'll uh, announce on Discord and in an episode, a rebalance patch for the mod pack. There's a lot of things now, having played it through for uh, just over a generation, that I'm a little bit concerned about. Specifically, for like me personally, we've recorded, this is what, like the 11th, 12th episode? We haven't even gone through a single generation yet. And if the goal is to breed the Ultra Wizard, then uh, obviously it's going to take a very, very, very long time IRL to get there. We're talking like maybe months of doing this. And I want to rebalance things a little bit. Originally, I wanted the Wizards to age slower so we got to know them better. But they're all so defined anyway with their genetics and their powers and their skills. And obviously generations as they as it as it goes on, the, you get to know the, the families more. And everybody being bred together, you can say, oh, that's Rambunculus and Bert's grandson. Ha <laughs> ha. And all that. So I think I kind of got it wrong in that I should have had them age almost faster than a regular generation series. So I'm going to be doing a big balance patch. Some things will be easier. Combat will be slightly more challenging. You can already see the changes I've made today. Um, I've already worked on that a little bit. And resource generation is going to be a little easier too, relying on just the outposts for it. Outposts do tick in the background and add to performance. So I, it, it's not an ideal solution. I think that the, the resource trees were a decent way to go about that, given that they're entirely fantasy. Bear with me, is what I'm saying. I'm gonna be gonna be changing quite a few things. Nothing that will break your playthrough or anything like that. If you are playing, or you're not gonna be like, oh, my colony is now suddenly useless. I think it's gonna be easier in a lot more ways than it's harder in others. So, bear with me. Stay tuned. Thank you to the executive producer patrons who allow me time to not only produce three episodes a day. You've got Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodline on the Eastern Sound Channel. You've got Fallout 4 over on Mr. Semi Streamer 2. And of course, Remote here every day. Crusader King's coming back soon. But also allow me the time to rebalance all these mod packs and more importantly, make new mods. Thank you to Fairy Wiz, Lost Turtle, Lady J, Duckmuck88, Blue Cerberus88, Atticos, Nighthawk18, Lapis Golem, Dan the Hashtag Man, O Trash Panda, Ravenlock, Exodus2169, This Be Willis, Lawbringer, The Longhoff, Oxwreckers, 
Silent Sentinel, Super the Tuba, Will, Critical Hat, Sherlock, Captain Tess, Zero's Legion, Slighter, and Gendalf Spanish. For their support, the executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. And a thank you to Nox Immortalis, Stretch Rogue, Doogie Monster, Toasty Buns, Zealoth, Ursus Arctus, Militant Millennial, Paul Talamort, Reef Topia, Sabiz, Awoni Chan, Andrew McKinnon, Elronildo, Cast the Red, and Alyssa V. Goodbye, and see you all tomorrow. Farewell.